Good morning, you two pipe smokers. Well, this is the third day I tried to do this video. We'll see how it goes this morning. What I want to talk about is uh, diet. I had a weight problem just most of my whole life. As a kid, I would wear husky pants and that type of thing. They said I was big boned. <laughs> Well, naturally, as you get older, things get worse. So I packed on the pounds as time went on, and I've tried every diet you can name. Calorie counting, fat gram counting, Atkins, uh, keto, the whole 30. Um, whatever else you can think about. Anyway, the latest craze is fasting. Now there's intermittent fasting, there's a lot of versions of fasting. Before I go into the fasting part, um, keto is a great diet. I've had lost weight. I, on every diet I've lost weight initially and then it slowly creeps back up maybe because you get sloppy but in my case I'll give you a situation I think keto really shines if you're a person that eats a lot of sweets cakes ice cream regular soda that type of thing puts uh, sugar in their coffee I think keto could really have a huge impact on you because you cut out the sugars and carbs and you'll drop a ton of weight I have a unique situation I don't eat that stuff not because I don't like it because I would be I'd be on that TV show my 600 pound life so I've stayed away from sugary things for a long time. I haven't had ice cream. It's got to be 10 years. And I love ice cream. I can live on haagen -Dazs. I love it. Milkshakes. Uh, candy bars was a big thing. I always had Snickers or a Payday on me. and um, I haven't had any of that in a long, long, long time. So if you're that type of person that has the cake and ice cream and candy bars and regular soda, you'll see a huge difference just going on keto. In my case, I dropped maybe 10 pounds on keto initially and that was it. Then I get stuck. And then you get frustrated and uh, you wind up getting sloppy. So ultimately, you you get on the 10 pounds, and then usually, like every diet you come off of, you pack on another two or three pounds after that. So YouTube is a great source of information, and there's a lot of good information out there. There's a lot of bad information, of course. So you have to sift through it. And remember, I don't have to tell you, I'm not a doctor, so if you decide to try any of this, consult your doctor, but be cautious. Some doctors will not be on board with this. So you may have to wind up changing doctors, um, or try to educate your own doctor, or just flat out prove him wrong. But I don't want to put anybody in a health risk, so you have to make your own choice. That's the disclaimer. So there's two guys that shine in this department on YouTube. One is uh, Jason Fong. I think I got his name right. He's a doctor, actually. And the other is uh, Thomas DeLauer, I think is how you pronounce his last name. If I remember, I'll leave the links in the bucket. Dr. Jason Fong has a couple, many books out, but he has The Obesity Code, which is a really good book, and Life in the Fasting Lane is another good book. I'm reading them both. 
So the concept is you fast. Now there's intermittent fasting where you can fast for 16 hours a day and have a window of uh, eight hours to eat. Or there's a 24 hour fast, there's 48 hours, 76 hours, whatever you feel. Now before you jump to conclusions, you say that's impossible, you can't eat not eat for 48 or 72 hours. Well, first of all, I'm here to tell you you can, because I've done it. And amazing things happen. Your body is, is given a chance to heal. Um, you give your body basically a rest, your whole digestive system. You're allowed to drink any no-calorie liquid, uh, black coffee, uh, diet soda, believe it or not, which I happen to drink because I like it. Not that it's good for you, but it does not break a fast. Water, of course, uh, seltzer, flavored seltzer, that type of thing. Any basically no-calorie uh, liquid. You can have all you want of that. So, which helps because it does fill you up, especially if you drink a carbonated seltzer, you feel that fullness. So the first day it gets a little rough. But something happens. If you make it through the first day, basically I'll tell you you have it licked. Because by the second day, you don't feel hungry for some odd reason. And the reason is, from what I read and from what they say, is your body is not stupid. So it needs food, of course, to survive. So it sees no food is coming down the chute. So it starts to look around for what it can eat. And it won't eat muscle because it's not, it doesn't, it's not good for them, whoever's eating this stuff in your body. So it eats the fat. And that's the idea. You want to change your digestive system into a fat burning machine instead of a machine that you feed. So anytime you feed your body food, the stored fat is not going anyplace. Which actually makes sense to me when they explain it in the technical terms. So, I've been on it from last Thursday, and today's Thursday, so that's a complete seven days. I fasted a total of, uh, I'm on my 48 hour fast as we speak. Um, so totally I fasted four days out of the seven days. And when I ate on the three days of that seven, I only ate uh, bone broth with some beef in it and protein and a vegetable. I lost 25 pounds. It's actually 25.2 pounds or something, but who's counting? And I feel much better. Uh, my joints don't hurt. I have my both my knees. I have issues with them from standing on my feet for 40 something years. Um, I have a leg issue, which is uh, called uh, edema, which my legs retain water because of veins that I inherited doesn't extract the water. So my, ten, my legs tend to swell up, especially my calves. Those have gone down tremendously. I have a lot more to go, another 25 pounds, and I'll really feel like I haven't felt in years, I'm sure. And I'm gonna get there because I'm on this diet for life. Because this is the first diet that's really not a diet. Fasting is a interesting thing. It's almost mentioned in every religion. 
so and basically it's it's from the cavemen era because you know cavemen went out to get food they had a hunt for it and if you if you're a hunter some days you go out you don't catch anything so basically they didn't have a refrigerator they can go to and grab something so they didn't eat for a, maybe a day or two or three until they caught something to bring back and then think about what they caught and brought back was only protein no carbs they had no doritos no potato chips so folks i'm telling you and I'm still struggling, of course, and I'm, I don't want to sound like I conquered this and I'm the, the poster child for uh, weight loss now. That's not the case. I just want to maybe help others in a circumstance such as myself. Our food is killing us. We all, most of us, I'm sure, carry smartphones. There's a lot of really good apps for the smartphone and the, the apps from uh, diabetes apps that tells you you scan an item and it tells you how much sugar is in an item because sometimes reading the label can be deceiving they're pretty clever these people that make food and they call sugar goes under many 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 different names this app can scan it and pick out the hidden sugars in many food and let me tell you you'll be shocked at what you see they put it in everything and the reason they put it in everything is because that's the addictor there was an article a while back I read about those rotisserie chickens you see in the stores every supermarket now has them Costco Sam's they all do it they're good I bought them Matter of fact they're very good but you know they're sprinkled with uh, the spices they put on them, unless you get the original, they have the original no spice ones they claim. They're sprinkled with a, a spice that has sugar in it, so it, you want to eat more. They said in the article it's still a healthy choice because a lot of people don't eat the skin, and once you get into the meat, a lot of times the spice did not penetrate the meat so it's still a good alternative to um, let's say having pasta or something else but this is what they do you look at milk container it contains a lot of sugar almost everything we eat the spices things you would never think of so look it up if you're interested ask a question I'll try to answer it again I'm not an expert this is relatively new to me um, but so far it's working I hope it continues to work and I all wish you well and I have a great day and thank you